before we get into today's video we got a new challenge for naughty gang 200 likes in 30 minutes you guys keep destroying the challenges so remember it's gonna get harder and harder every single video but before you guys leave make sure you like subscribe and turn on post notifications what's good yeah jumping straight into the video because this is going to be a dumb long video basically revealing all the builds in the game in their attribute caps not just attributes but attribute caps how your stats would be how your attributes would be when you're actually 99 so because i know a lot of dribblers going to come to my video i'm gonna start off with the um with the two most used dribbling uh builds that's going around in the community which is the play sharp and the shot maker so starting off first six this is a stats of a six foot seven play sharp lowest weight uh lowest though it's not the lowest wing it's only down two as you can see it only went down twice on the wing for you to be able to speed boost at six seven i told y'all boys i could speed boost my build all them dummies who was commenting on my video talking about yo this build a l you can't speed boost my build i can do it bro it's a lot of debates that's going to go into what build you choose but anyway that's down two all right this next screenshot is the same build, six foot seven, everything the same, but this is the lowest wingspan. Now the only benefit to this, in my opinion, is just a higher three point, and you sacrificing the length of your arms. That's the only thing. That's the tough debate for me. Um, let's go into the next. What else I got for play sharp? And basically, you guys can basically, if I don't show longest wing, of course nobody ain't gonna get longest wing. Let's jump straight into the shot maker. I'm not about to sit here and make this video dumb long, bro. 6-7 shot maker default wingspan. You cannot speed boost with that. There go that. You can pause on that if you want to stare at the screen. This is a screenshot of the lowest wingspan for a 6 foot 7 shot maker. This next screenshot, yeah, so you do have to be lowest for a 6 foot 7. I tried to go down like three times for the 6 foot 7. It didn't work. So um by the way, these are screenshots that are leaked. You feel me? That somebody just DM'd them all to me. So I don't have the game yet in case you think I got the game early or nothing like that. But anyway, um, what we on now? So I sold the six foot seven. So the only way to speed boost with the six foot seven shot maker is to put the uh lowest wingspan. So what else we got? So we did six let's go to six foot six. Alright, so a six foot six, let's see. I'ma go to shot makers first. Six foot six shot maker. So six foot six shot maker with one wingspan down again all of these builds is lowest weight bro don't ask if it's like it's lowest weight and the heights is i'm saying the height so when you make your build all you got to do is choose one wingspan down for this six foot six shot maker to be able to speed boost so that's that um let's see the lowest for a six six shot maker you can get 88 ball control with an 83 if you want to be able to shoot so it's basically like with all these builds if you pick the lowest wingspan you'll have the highest three that you could possibly get at the ending when you're 99 and at default wingspan you can't you can't speed boost at all if you 6'6 six, six with default wingspan now let's go to the 6'6 six, six play sharp this screenshot is a 6'6 six, six play sharp with the lowest look 90 ball control so if that is important I can be a 6'6 six, six play sharp, get the lowest ball control, I mean, get the highest ball control with the lowest arms, which is 90, and then have an 81 on my three. That's very, very tempting, bro. For me, that's tempting. Default wingspan for the 6'6 six, six, Ken speed boost. Now, this is another debate, too. Like, you don't risk having T-Rex arms. You got default arms. You still can speed boost a decent three. So many debates for me, bro. Like, it's ridiculous, bro. Um... So I'ma just I'ma just keep going. Let's look at all the different heights, bro. I'ma I'ma just do all the guards. So we done with the topic of play sharps and shot makers. They're done. Um if you want to see the 6-5, this is a 6-5 shot maker right here. His stats. You feel me? Y'all already know y'all can speed boost with those. That's why I don't really want to put the short builds on here. Y'all already know them. That's why it's not seen every single build, because you like certain ones is just more important than the other. Um so we did the dribbling builds let's jump into the lockdowns bro let's jump into lockdown so this category section gonna be locked so this is a six foot seven lockdown defensive stats when you max your wingspan out this is max wingspan fire or no nah? what y'all think that's his defense um let's look at a lock when you when you have default wingspan because you're not gonna pick lowest for a pure lock by the way it's six foot seven this is a six foot seven shooting guard uh 
pure lockdown stats right here. You get in a 92 block, uh, 98 steal with def yo, that's fire, bro. And basically, your shooting gonna be like more decent like that for real. Um, let me see what, what is this right here. Oh, heck with the shooting right here for the default. Your shooting gonna be a 68 max. That is OP. A 68 three with silver corner specialist and pure lock clearly the best lockdown build so that video i made if you want to see my lockdown build you can watch that video that's definitely the best lockdown build if you're going to be six seven um let's see so that was the lockdown let's look at since we on lockdown topic let me find defensive three six foot seven i'm gonna do the same height so six foot seven uh <clears throat> defensive sharp which sharp i mean i'm meaning sharp second defensive first these are your stats for it you basically get like an 88 steal, 86 block. Uh, let's look at the shooting for that same exact build. And this is with default wingspan. So your shooting going to be 74 threes. I really don't want to waste time debating and talking. I'm going to try to talk about everything at the ending. Use your imaginations for the other things when y'all asking for specifics. Like, what about 610 lock? What about this lock? That lock? Just use like use your imagination, bro. You can really... It's, it should be simple if you base it off these attributes. I'm not trying to make this video stupid long while i'm explaining everything and talking but let's move on to the next build bro i'ma just go straight down the line bro it's gonna be no order bro like literally no order so this is a seven foot three glass cleaner with max wingspan this is the shooting on it is horrible in my opinion the shooting is bad but when you go max wingspan you get your rebounding attributes to 99 next build we looking at this is a seven foot three rebounding first stretch second shooting you can pause on the screen if you want to you feel me like look at that this is a pure stretch with lowest wingspan your open shot three is at 87 i'm just going straight down the line as my screenshots now so it don't be long seven foot three center pure stretch with longest wingspan you see your threes went down a whole 10 points seven foot three center pure stretch with default wingspan not risking to be a t-rex you get an 81 on your three seven foot two pure post uh highest weight these are your stats for that like the shooting side for a seven foot two post at center uh seven foot two center max weight again these are the post joints you see that your uh post moves are 99 so that's literally like the dirk nowinski build uh then the next after pure this shit right here is a seven foot two so post first shot creator second you see you got your post moves right there you feel me? so you can check those stats out next we have a seven foot two way a seven foot two way stretch this is a stretch so you can see what the shots is and basically y'all know what two way mean and the three is first so those are the stats for that uh, i'm gonna show you the defensive side for it check out your defense I don't want to just talk too long on these topics. Uh, so now, as you got, and, and that's powerful, by the way. So we done with centers. All the builds I showed you are all the center builds already that I'm showing. Now we into the powerful is with that two way. So the next powerful we showing is a seven foot power forward stretch with max wingspan. So if you notice, you already get an 81 three, the same three you get when you seven foot three with lowest wingspan. You get that same three when you're a power forward at seven foot with max wingspan. So I'm feeling like these stretches are better, bro. You guys make your own opinion. But that same exact build but with lowest wingspan. You see that 91-3? If you go T-Rex at power forward with a pure stretch, you can have a 91-3. That's crazy. It's all your preference. And this is how it look with default. You get an 86-3. Next build is a seven foot power forward rebounding stretch at power forward. There go the threes. I'm going to show you the threes. Low wingspan with the rebounding stretch. Next build I'm about to click. Seven foot power forward. Uh, three rebounding again. And the stats are, well, this is threes first. So them last two I just showed was three point first. The first two seven foots I showed was rebounding first. These last two is three point first when you make a, a stretch now we down to the small forward category so basically a 610 no what is this no this is a 610 power forward 
uh, this is a stretch as you can see your open shot with three if you pick the lowest wingspan um last but not least we go into the well let me tell y'all a 610 pure pure point forward does does not speed boost you can't speed boost but what you can speed boost is this 68 playmaker with the lowest wingspan will get you a 90 ball control i want to let y'all see the open shot not that crazy of difference bro like it's crazy how i don't know bro it's going every, all these builds i'm showing y'all is basically going to come down to badges bro so well all these builds show my bad if you confused on anything or the screenshots i tried to like properly word it and stuff like that um it's going to come down to badges and what do you want as a player the last builds i'm gonna show is the super op builds i want to say these for last a shot created slasher at 6 4 with default wingspan um you guys can see that you get a open shot three of 75 your ball control 86 when you do default but if you want to speed boost with this build you go lowest wingspan and look you get an 86 ball control so anybody who want to speed boost with a shot slasher you can go 6 4 and grind for that 86 ball control now this build is what i think is the most overpowered build in the game 100 percent this is a six foot four pure shot creator bruh like is it any more do i really have to say about this bruh like it's a gg bruh like it's literally a gg i don't know what else i need to say about this build but as you guys can see this video is ending up stupid long for real so basically you guys can pause on the screens and listen to what i'm saying these builds are i basically got the most important builds if your build not on here it's really not it wasn't worth me showing it i'm telling you if your build really not on here it wasn't that deep for me to show y'all know i'm a comp player bro i'm gonna tell you what should be used for part and what should be used for like you know pro-am so these are basically the main builds so don't make these mistakes you feel me some of these builds you don't have to go as far as dribbling you don't gotta go to the lowest wingspan in bt rex some builds you can't do no wingspan so it's all up to y'all to make y'all own debate and own judgment but that's pretty much the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and we out of here yeah